think the Vegas game, um, we just worked hard. Uh, there was no secret there, I think. You know, we could have deserved a better result on that one, but um, we definitely carried that work ethic forward. And um, we've been rolling a little bit. Guys are starting to feel it, and uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun, so we're looking to carry that uh, into tonight. From a, from a team bonding perspective, what was last night like? Oh, it was uh, it was great. Uh, we had a turkey dinner in the afternoon and then went for a big team dinner, so um, be a big warm-up for us, sweat it out a little bit. Uh, it was great, though. It was uh, nice to be... Uh, down in the States for the U.S. Thanksgiving and, and get to enjoy it. What can it do for a player mentally, Tyson, when he's put in a spot to uh, best use the skills that got him to the NHL? Yeah, I, I mean, that's, uh, it, it's big for any player. I think, you know, you, you know, you, every player has a certain skill set and, you know, and, and to be put in situations where you think you're going to succeed is a, is, a, is a big part of it. What does a good game look like in front of Hutchinson today? Just a bit of what you've been seeing the last few games, we, uh, you know, we're we're feeling confident. We're, we feel like we're going to score some goals, and um, we just got to tighten it up in the D zone and not uh, not make him make any of those uh, big saves. How important is it for him, given that after a lot of his starts previously, a lot of you guys said we just didn't do it for him tonight? Yeah, I think every start he had was on a back to back, so we've got fresh legs now, and we're going to be, uh, you know, a rested team and a focused team in front of him. So we got to give him another shot here. Has being on the road had that, uh, that been able to give you guys that bonding experience you were looking for? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said it before, I think in Vegas was a big, uh, big part of it. We had a lot of fun, and um, we've been playing good hockey since then. And you know, we've uh, we've been coming closer together. I, it doesn't really matter who I play with. I'm always going to try to you know find the open ice and use my speed. But especially with a player like uh, you know Spez, so he'll, he'll find you. So I think uh, you know on our line with PD, we can we can use our speed as much as we can and be on the forecheck. But um, you know, when it comes to making plays, you know Spez has got to find us and, and feed us, and um, you know it's a good line. Has the vintage nickname taken hold a little bit, John? Was saying. Yeah, John, Johnny calls him vintage. I call him retro. Um, <laughs> so we got some good names from. What was last night like from a team bonding perspective? It was good. I think it was a really good performance from us. And um, you know, obviously, I don't think we gave him too much uh, in the last game. And um, three three wins in a row. That's huge for our team. It's, it builds confidence, and you know, the team's feeling good. But you, uh, we also know that we're you know coming in uh, playing today against a tough team too, and playing back to back. So we got to be ready for that. Do you guys feel maybe a personal responsibility to help? Hutchison get some of that confidence as well and get a win for him? Yeah, I think we've left Hutchie kind of out to dry, uh, you know, when he was with us earlier in the year. And he's, uh, he's a tremendous goalie. He's just, you know, we haven't been playing um, that well in the beginning of the year. So we'll try to help him out as uh, much as we can. Sheldon was saying that one of his priorities and the organization's priorities is to treat players with respect. You know, when you guys, is that what you get yeah, um, you know, ever since I've been a part of this organization, I always felt that way. But um, you know, especially with him, um, you know, I think it's important for the guys to feel respected. And, and uh, you know, when we feel respected, uh, you know, it goes uh, both ways too. We respect everybody in the organization. Uh, you know, Maple Leafs are they're, they're really classy and uh, they treat us really well. So it's uh, it's amazing to be a part of an organiza organization like that. A lot of guys were pumped to watch some football last night. Are you an NFL fan at all? Uh, just watching a little bit, obviously, on Thanksgiving. I think uh, you kind of have to, but, um, you know, it was fun. And just, you know, being with teammates and, and hanging out was uh, was real fun last night. Yeah, it is. We played a 5 o'clock start not too long ago there. Uh, and as you say, it's going to be the same for both both clubs. We're focused on this game here today. It has been a long trip, but we broke it up, you know, getting home and all of that kind of stuff. So we should be ready to go today. The schedule sort of maps out for December. It looks like you got a lot of coaching opportunities. Are you excited for that part? Uh, I haven't looked too far ahead, to be honest. Here, things have uh, things have come quickly, and I'm worried each, each about each day as it comes. I know the December calendar for us just came out the other day, and I'll, I'll get some time to look at that as we get through this weekend. Can I ask you about um, Bill Peters. Your thoughts? I mean, uh, what you might be going through, and, and you're, you're a guy yourself with a checkered past. Well, you know what, I can't speak too much, obviously, to, to Bill's situation. I mean, I've been too busy here with what's going on to know too much about what's happening there, other than to say that I think it's been quite clear here in our organization we've made it a priority to uh, treat our players with respect and, and have a culture of respect and positivity, and that's very important to Brendan Shannon and Kyle Dubas and everything that we're doing here. And, and I think really hockey in general has taken a big swing in that direction over the last number of years. Sheldon, what can you take from your three wins as a head coach that you've liked, you want to see repeated here tonight, at least to begin the first period? Well, we want to have a good start. Obviously, our first periods have been have been very good. Um, and we got scored on first in Colorado, but we bounced back really well in that case and want to get off to a good start here again today. Outside of Hutch, any uh, lineup changes tonight? 
Uh, no, everything else is the same. You coached um, Justin Hall in the AHL level. What have you seen from him so far in these three games uh, with how he's playing? And obviously he's worked his way up to this point to being on that second period. Yeah, I've seen more of the defenseman that I've uh, come accustomed to, to seeing at the AHL level, and he's finding his way here at the NHL level now, just his skating and uh, the way that he uses his that speed and the, his length to defend. And that's you know, he seems to have lots of confidence, so his skating with the puck and everything has come with that.